What are you doing? <laughs> oh, just a little research of my own. Did you know that there have been Bigfoot sightings on every continent except Antarctica? Which yeah. means they've been seen here in Africa. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's a very logical explanation in every case. Here's what they look like. That's nice. Okay, I got the message. Pull it with the Bigfoot stuff, right? Well, I just don't want to alarm our guests unnecessarily. I mean, for all we know, that's not even a footprint. It just looks like one. What? You don't really believe that, do you? <clears throat> no, I guess not. I didn't think so. Well, all right. I better go finish the breakfast dishes. Missed you at breakfast. Oh, I didn't know anyone was watching. Yeah, sorry about breakfast. Don't worry, we only had pancakes, uh, pancakes today. And uh, we left some for you. No, I didn't get a bunch. Oh, well, uh, we just looked at some verses from the book of Proverbs again. One's about the tongue and how we really need to watch what comes out of our mouth. That words <coughs> are very powerful, for good or for bad. Sounds good. Sorry, I missed it. We also looked at how uh, other forms of speech, uh, uh, gra the grammar that you use, the you know gossiping, complaining, things like that. Yeah, and what about cursing? Now that's a really ugly speech habit. I hate when people use bad words. I know, me too. And it just seems to be getting worse every day. And it's just another sign that our culture is quickly drifting away from God. Yeah, probably. So, I was watching you there. It looks like you try to stay in shape. That's really good. Yeah, I jog five miles every day. I swim, I swim a lot, too. I took a dip in your pond this morning. You swam, you, you swam the pond? Yeah. Didn't you see the warning signs? Well, I wanted to say. I know I should have been wearing my glasses. It'd say something like, lifeguard not on duty. Uh, not quite. Probably, uh, danger! Nile crocodiles! <laughs> crocodile, that's a good one. I'm not kidding. <laughs> they were crocodiles. <laughs> yeah. A 15 foot long one. You should uh, be very thankful that, that they weren't hungry this morning. Suddenly, I'm not so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You're going the wrong way, Sparky. Breakfast this way. Uh, he's not hungry. Really? Well then, could I have his breakfast? Uh, I probably shouldn't say this, but uh, don't you think you've had enough? I mean, you still have to climb the mountain. <laughs> right, well, I was just kidding. Uh, how am I ever going to climb that mountain? I've got to get in shape. But that means I have to worst my, face my worst enemy. <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> Today, mostly sunny. A breeze, a breezy high of 80. Chance of rain, 10%. I've got to lose some weighty. <laughs> Not bad. Kilimanjaro's cool, especially at the peak. If I keep this up, I'll have an Iron Man physique. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Whoa, storm weather's exercising. I gotta get this on camera. Talk about headline news. <laughs> Be careful. Remember what Mr. Harper said. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So you be nice. Oh, that's right. You missed the motion this morning. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. 
I may have thought it, but I didn't say it. Well, go on. Don't let me stop. Don't let me stop you. I'm just waiting for Catherine. That's all right. I don't want to overdo it. I might pull muscle. What muscle? <laughs> hey, that's not very nice. And here we have, folks, Channel 9's Catherine Kent. Don't you mean Emmy Award-winning Catherine Kent? Don't forget that part. It's very important. Ooh, lemon lime soda, my favorite. You've all seen my statuette, right? Yes, Catherine. Everyone has seen your statuette. Now, in other news, it appears I've that the rating it. war is heating up. The station says that Channel 5 is right on our tail. So we have to bring home a winner with this documentary. Ooh, now the pressure's on. Channel 5, a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, it's room temperature. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you say that I'm chilled? That's how they drink it in Tanzania, Catherine. <sighs> Sounds like their problem. Okay, can we just get started? Now, if you want to stand here, with Kilimanjaro in the back. Kilimanjaro in the background. Since this is the first segment, I want this to set a scene with a set a good scene with the, the mountain. Can you hold these cards? Okay, but uh, when do I get to be on? Wait. No teleprompter? At this time. I can't go without a teleprompter. My contract says so. Just gonna have to work without one. I cannot work under these conditions. Brother, here we go. Let me try something. Catherine, I know these conditions aren't the best, aren't, aren't the best, and that we're asking a lot of you, but you're an important part of our team, and there's the other thing, you can't let your fans down. Well, since you say it that way, just this once, for my fans, and because I'm such a nice person. Thank you. Wow, the proverb work, proverb work, a soft answer really can prevent an argument. Thank you for that. Oh, my cue. Ready? Wow, that's a nice camera you got. You guys from Hollywood? Oh. Just a local TV station in Ohio. In Ohio. Ohio, you say? Huh. Small world. My dad lives in Ohio. Well, it's not really that small when you think about it. It's actually really big. Uh, sir, I don't mean to be rude, but. We have to shoot here, so if you don't mind. Don't mind me. Oh, I almost forgot. I always forget to introduce myself. Well, I don't always forget. I just never remember. remember. Anyway, I'm the, I'm part ranger, the new Hank Kendall. I can, I can get this. I'm Hank Park, the new Park Ranger. Hey, Kendall, the new park ranger. There we go, that's better. Let's try that again, on my cue. You know, that's a really nice camera you've got there. have a teleprompter if you're from a news station? Uh, no. We weren't going to bring one here up to handle it. Yet. We have to climb all the way up that mountain and, you know, I'm not carrying that. Right. <laughs> Is there something you needed? Oh, nothing. I mean, is there a reason? Oh, yeah. I'm here by the big footprint. Did he say Bigfoot? Uh, sir, did you say big footprint or Bigfoot print? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. 
What? What was the question? <laughs> okay, Mr. Harper. You mean, did you say big footprint or big foot footprint? I don't remember. <laughs> Mr. Kendall, I'm Hank Harper, the uh, park director. Nice to meet you. All right, uh, so it's um, it's right over here. Wow, you're right, right about one thing. It's big. It's a footprint. <laughs> well, I guess that's two things. It has six toes. Hmm, what kind of creature would make? that. Eh, it's hard to say. Well, it's not hard to say once you know. Then you know and you don't have to have hard to say. <laughs> Maybe it's a... Nope. Or a... Nope. You ever think it can... <laughs> not that. Definitely not that. You know, I think I'm going to have to get back to you on that. How about a week from Tuesday? Uh, uh, we, we can't wait that long. Uh, I need an answer right away. Oh, then I'll come back tomorrow. In the meantime, I suggest you all stay indoors, lock the windows, and shut the doors. No, no. Shut the windows, lock the doors. There you go. Stay inside. Don't want any monkey business. A big footprint business, anything like that. Well, have a nice day! I'm really sorry about this. Um, if you guys would like to move to another camp, uh, we'd understand and we'd be glad to make the arrangements. We're not going anywhere. We're a news team, remember? Yeah, this is just the kind of thing we thrive on. And to think I could be the first to report on the discovery of a new species. Yeah, or maybe even Bigfoot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.